G'day into that daft here. Thought I might make a little video to show off my little Philips Natural 10 AC DC portable television. This is the model number uh, KA910, which I found on the side of the road a couple of years ago, just during the curbside collection, and I thought, ah, oh, that looks nice, I'll have that. And now I think it's actually about time to hopefully try and do something with it. It's a cute little TV. It's advertised as being a 10 inch television, but it's only really 9 inches of pixels. Naughty, naughty Phillips. But from what I can gather, this was uh, actually manufactured by Sharp, possibly as a Linitron. I couldn't actually find any details on the Sharp version aside from the fact that it was model number C1001SP. It was also sold, and I think, New Zealand as a Pi Vitamatic 10 inch. And yeah, they were sold. And then they were marketed here in Australia as Philips. So it's just a little little art RF only television. Channel selectors and a little volume slider. Power button, which feels quite nice to operate. I like these old tactile buttons. There's not much in there. It doesn't actually work because I don't have a power thingy for it, as I shall demonstrate here. As you can see on the back. It's got this weird 5-pin plug, because this is a 240-volt or 12-volt television. So it came with its own special cable, which unfortunately I haven't been able to get a hold of, that would obviously either plug into a wall or give you an adapter to a battery box or a transformer or something. Well, battery box, but it seems more likely. But otherwise it's just got its little RF input here, and then it's got the old adorable little rabbit ears, which I assume just pass through to this little cable into this little adapter box to plug into the antenna slot. And then it's got vertical hold on the back there, and then under this flap up here, if I just magic is up there, you've got brightness, contrast, and some sort of colour adjust. And then something there to do with your channels, V1, V3, and U, so I assume it's something to do with very high frequency and UHF and stuff. And that's about your lot. No no other inputs or anything, nothing fancy. It's basically just that. So what I'm hoping to do is modify this so it will have hopefully RGB SCART input, but failing that, it composite will be okay, I suppose. And I have to get in there, try and work out what sort of, um, or what pins on the power lead do what, so I can either make up a new power lead or put a new socket in there. Hopefully the board's all nice and labelled, so I can just go, ah, oh, yeah, there we go, 12 volt, neutral, ground, etc. Yeah, let's, um, I haven't actually seen inside this, so let's crack it open and see what we can find. And voila, we're in. And there we go, we're in. So that was nice and easy, just five screws, two under there, two underneath, and one in the back of the little RF box here. So I'm going to have some pretty serious uh, disassembly work to get into, the, get into this, but first of all, I'll obviously have to work out how to power the thing up. So if we have a look in here, I think that pin, that pin, and that one in the corner are mains power, and then these two are 12 volts, because you can see we've got these thicker gauge wires, thicker gauge wires coming out of those pins, and then the other two are these two smaller purple ones that just go straight over to up here, onto this little board, and then the other 
larger ones, if you can, I don't know if you can actually see down in there, but they just go off into the power switch in the corner here, down in there, and then they just dive straight onto that main board there. So that's going to be a fun little project for a while, but what I'm aiming to do is I'll just work out the polarity of those uh, 12 volt rails, see if I can work out how much current it's going to need. I'll jam some power into it and see what happens. Bonus update, we have a functioning display. I just real quickly just jammed 12 volts up the arse of it, and lo and behold, we've got some static.